in 14 days, the National Guard will be deployed for an event that is coming to America. The question is, is this needed? Or is this an overreach or an overreaction to it, the solar eclipse? The story is out of Zero Hedge, and I think it's important to go over because as it says right here, the National Guard is only supposed to be deployed in emergency situations when there is an actual emergency. But this is being announced beforehand. It says, but these days the National Guard is being used for all sorts of things. For example, hundreds of National Guard soldiers are being used to check bags of those riding in the subway system in New York City. That sets a very alarming precedent. You know, and, and the title, I didn't read the title. It says, why is the National Guard being deployed during the Great American Eclipse on April 8th? It says that sets a very alarming precedent, and I don't understand why more people aren't upset about this. And now we have learned that the National Guard troops will be deployed during the Great American Eclipse on April 8th. What in the world do they expect to happen during this eclipse? Without a doubt, it will certainly be a historic event. As I've discussed previously, it is being projected that it will be the most viewed astronomical event in the entire history of our country. And virtually everyone in North America will be able to view at least a partial eclipse. That is impressive. Almost everyone on the continent will see at least a bit of the eclipse. The further away you are from the path, the less of the eclipse you will see, even in places like Seattle and Portland, Oregon, which are far from the path, about one third of the sun will be hidden. On April 8th, millions of Americans will be traveling to locations where they will be in the path of the total solar eclipse. Oklahoma is being touted as one of the best states for that, and it's being reported that the Oklahoma National Guard will provide first responders as well as units with hazmat response capabilities. Here's a, here's a, a declaration or a, an announcement from them. Oklahoma's National Guard is set to be deployed for the upcoming total solar eclipse when as many as 100,000 people are expected to visit one county. In a statement on Tuesday, the Guard said it would assist emergency management to cope with an unprecedented number of tourists on April 8 in McCurtain County in the southeast of the state. The Guard will provide first responders as well as units with hazmat response. Why would they need that? Hazmat response capabilities in case of an incident like an industrial fire. Why would there be an industrial fire? I can understand that they feel the need to be prepared, but bringing the National Guard is overkill, don't you think? How many of you think that it's overkill? Type one if you agree down below. Type two if you think, no, this is normal. It's interesting that the National Guard would announce that they want to make sure there's hazmat capabilities in their unit to combat a industrial fire from 100,000 people that are showing up with glasses on to stare at the sun. Residents of Oklahoma are being urged to stock up on gas and groceries prior to the eclipse, and they are also being instructed to have multiple forms of communication besides cellular. To prepare, this is uh, another announcement from them. To prepare for the eclipse, the state laid out some tips to plan ahead. Oklahomans should schedule errands and appointments a few days in advance before the eclipse, as well as stock up on gas and groceries. The state also re recommends having multiple forms of communication besides cellular, being careful on the road and staying updated on weather conditions. That's, a, that's an announcement from the National Guard, from the state. They want people to do all of this for an eclipse that is only going to last for a few minutes. Actually, Oklahoma is not the only state that's issuing such warnings. According to a Newsweek article entitled Map Shows Warnings to, for People to Stock Up on Food Ahead of the Solar Eclipse. If you Google that, you'll find the Newsweek article. At least four states have now warned their citizens to stock up on food. At least four states within the path of, to of totally totality sorry, 
have urged residents to stock up on groceries before the eclipse. Some officials have already issued disaster declarations ahead of the event, and some schools have decided to close, citing student safety. Texas officials issued a slew of warnings, including the people living that people living within the path of totality should stock up on groceries and gas and run any errands such as filing prescriptions or sorry, filling prescriptions in the days before the eclipse. One official also urged pet owners to stock up on supplies for their animals. I realized, the story goes on to say, I realized that in areas that are in the direct path of the total eclipse are anticipating large numbers of visitors, but it feels like authorities are going way overboard. It just... Are they is are is, are there some nefarious actors planning on something, and being able to blame it on this eclipse? In Arkansas, they actually held a live training exercise that simulated emergencies that might happen during the eclipse. With here's an announcement from. Uh, Arkansas. With less than a month remaining before the great American solar eclipse, the Arkansas Division of Emergency Management took a significant step by conducting a live training exercise. This exercise was designed to test their response to issues that may arise as visitors flock to Arkansas to witness the event. Uh, ADEM responders and other state uh, agencies looked at possible scenarios such as severe weather, traffic, medical emergencies, and communication challenges. Taking part in an exercise where uh, county emergency managers and representatives of the National Weather Service, Arkansas National Guard, Corps of Engineers, uh, Arkansas Hospital Association, Arkansas Wireless Information Network, and Arkansas Department of Health, Transportation, Energy, and Environment and Human Services took place in this. Now, I will say honestly that I am not expecting any real disaster. As a firefighter, I remember uh, Y2K and we were sitting in our engines ready to go. And it was a big nothing burger. Matter of fact, our department paid overtime for everyone to come in, staff all the rigs. It was mass hysteria. But what I am concerned with is it seems like there are nefarious actors like what we saw in the country about a year and a half ago with multiple tons of food processing plants around the country burning down unexpectedly all within, I don't know, a month, month and a half's time. Very odd, especially when all the fire reports are coming back with very mixed conclusions of how they started and why they burnt completely to the ground, destroying them. This would be, in my opinion, a ex great example or an excuse for people of with nefarious plans to be able to get away and point the blame at this. So don't be surprised if you do see something crazy like a nationwide cell phone outage or information uh, outage where we start seeing communication breakdowns in our financial system. I wouldn't be surprised at that. It'd be very interesting. Oh, look, we just lost all those records. They're in the cloud. Where'd they go? It must've been a solar flare or something. This is going to be a very interesting story as we continue this. I hope you got something out of this. Let me know down below if you think type three, if you think this is going to be a big deal, type four, if you don't think this is going to be a big deal. I'm curious what you think. Hope you have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.